Okay guys, so in today's video, um, I'm going to be doing a video which one of my friends named Daniel, he requested that I do this. Um, he wants to know how to get ROMs from transfer from your computer to your phone. Now a disclaimer that I want to put on here is that, and you can see my desktop right here, a disclaimer that I want to put is that um, all ROMs are for backup purposes only. You should never download them illegally and you should never download them for your own game. So if you do have the games, then you can have the ROMs. Okay, now it's up to you whether you want to use them for your own purpose or not without the original software, hardware, excuse me, the original cartridges. So without further ado, we're gonna get started. Okay, so I already have a directory. It's my console games directory. I'm gonna click on it. Okay, you can see all my ROMs. Okay, so simply all you're gonna do is plug in your phone. Which, if you have an iPhone, you plug in. Uh, it's kind of tricky. I'll have to do a video on that later. But with Android, all you do is copy and paste. So you want to find and organize all your ROMs into one folder, right here all into one folder so that way all you have to do is just let's say okay let's go to Nintendo okay I'm gonna go over here you see where my Nintendo ROMs are at you can see my awesome son yeah he knows Nintendo huh son you know Nintendo okay so you go right here where your NES ROMs are at and then highlight and copy which I happen to have about 410 megabytes which you can see right here I have about let's see it contains 1853 so those are my ROMs okay so you go right click copy and what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to your location wherever you have it stored and then let's say you want it like just pretend for a second, I'm going to rename this, this is going to be ROMs. Okay, so at this point you should already have your Android device plugged in or you should have a micro SD card reader which I'll put a link in the description below for a USB, micro USB cable, a USB-C cable, a power brick and a micro USB card reader. Okay, so just pretend for a sec that this is going to be your directory that it's going to be in. Then you just go and you right click and paste. Okay, as you can see right here, all your ROMs are going into the folder. So it takes very limited time for them to actually go into the folder. Okay, so 20 seconds. And... There we go, and they're going right into the folder 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, well sometimes it takes longer, but you get the picture. Okay, so go to, uh, you can actually go to skip on some of those, because those are wrong hacks. Okay, so at this point, once it's all inside of your phone, you can drop it into any location that you want. You can copy and paste it in Android. You can copy and paste it into anything, any folder, any destination. With iPhone, you have to actually download four or five different other apps just to get the ROMs to work. It's a little harder. I'm not an iPhone person myself because of that reason, where I can emulate a whole lot better with Android because the market is so open and it's just, it's just better. All right, guys. So that was part one of. Showing you guys how to take the bombs from the computer to your device. So now, being that I showed you guys how to do it on the computer, I'm going to show you guys how to do it physically. Okay, for that, I've chosen to use this Ultra All-in-One Digital Card Reader. And I'll put a link in the description below for one that's similar. This one I got at Walmart, I want to say, a few years ago. So I don't think they carry it anymore, but this has been... 
pretty steady. I'll give you guys a little shot of what it looks like. Okay. And then I have this nifty little gold plated, for some reason, gold plated ones I feel have been a lot faster. Not sure why, but good quality USB cable. Okay. So now, plug it on in and go with it. If you guys can, hit that bell notification that tells you guys every time I make a video. That way you guys can see when these videos pop up in case you said, oh, how do I transfer my ROMs into my my device? Now, with Android, they've changed it. I used to be able to plug in my Android, drag and drop from there, but they've changed it similar to the iPhone where you can't just drag and drop. But the good thing with Android is that you get to have micro SD cards so you have the ability to be able to use the all-in-one meter put the micro SD card in there and then put it back in your device so let's get started I'm going to plug this in to the USB port and we're going to plug it in to the all-in-one card reader okay, I don't know what type of device you use but I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Tab A okay so you can see right there it has the micro SD card slot so let's get started okay so what you'll do now is let me bring this over here okay. it's not wanting to focus so you know you can pretty much see in the black area there we go now we're in focus where the micro SD card is Okay. So after that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take whatever type of reader is. You can use the USB reader. They have those two. Those are easier. I just prefer to use this because it's so much faster. And I've used it for years and it works. And it's never built. Okay, so you're going to want to take and put it into some of these, say, TF card, which is the same thing as a micro SD card. Okay, so I've chosen to step off the screen and you guys can hear me. So I'm going to be able to direct you guys on what to do. Okay, so this is part of the physical. That's why I'm showing you guys on the screen what to do. So all you guys are going to do from here is really super simple. All you're going to take, let's see, I'm just going to make a mock-up file. Okay, I'm just going to take this thumbnail that I have. But if this were your folder, all you do is right click. Whatever time it takes to wait, it's usually not that long. Right click. And make sure you go to copy because if you cut, you're going to lose some of your information. So let's go to copy and paste. You're just going to go right in there. Okay, so the reason why you copy is because you always want to save a backup of your ROMs. If you just have it on one device and you lose it on that device, then you got to re download it and you got to save it again. I always have backups on multiple devices that way, in case sometime where I'm not in a place where there's internet, I can use a micro USB to USB adapter and transfer it from device to device to device. I don't have to worry about being online. I can just transfer it. So after that, what you're going to do is you're going to click over here, wherever you're on your my computer or on the left hand side, wherever your micro USB card is, and never on the repeat. Never pull out your any type of USB, micro SD, SD card, anything until you've injected it in the computer because that'll mess up your SD card. So right click, okay, go to eject, and over here, I'm going to turn on the computer so you guys can hear that sound of what it makes. Okay, when it says save to remove hardware, then device okay so what's cool about this is with Androids you can always put a micro SD card back into the slot okay so the same slot so we're going to get back into focus the same slot that you put it in all you do is make sure that you place it back in the right direction place it in these things are little boogers. 
okay? Make sure you close your cover, okay? And we're gonna get it started. I'm not gonna put the cover back on so I can show you guys right away. Okay? You guys notice that on here, I have a games directory on my Android. Oh, sorry, I went so dark. Okay? Now, I'm gonna come over to a random emulator. I've been into Atari lately, not too popular with a lot of people. I noticed that on Instagram and Facebook, my Atari posts get maybe six or seven likes by post Nintendo, Sega, Super Nintendo, etc. And those get anywhere from 30 to 40 likes. So I'm not sure why, but Atari's still cheap to collect for, collect for it. And Atari hasn't started at all. Come on, guys. Okay, so, you notice? Okay directory where all your ROMs are at. Actually, you know, I'm going to back it up a little bit because a lot of people ask me, how do you know where your ROMs are at? That's a good question. So, what you're going to want to do is place your ROMs in a directory on your SD card through the computer when you have your micro USB hub plugged in. That way you know exactly where to access your ROMs. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you in my files where mine are located. Okay, I'm all micro micromanaged, so I'm going to show you guys where it's at. Okay. Here's my SD card. Okay. As you can see, there's a file there la named ROMs and ISOs, and it keeps shifting off and on focus. Light and dark is because I keep putting my tablet in front of the screen and it has a bright light. Okay? So, on the ROMs and ISO folders, I'm going to scan up. You guys can see I have all of the ROMs in separate folders. Okay, let's scan up again. Okay. So you're going to want to do that just so that way you have a safe, secure place for your ROMs. That way you know where each one's located. That way you can see up here, okay, put that in front of the screen. It shows you your directory. Okay, so I'm going to select the Atari 2600 ROMs. Okay, let's go to, everybody likes Donkey Kong. Okay. And there you have it, the ROMs directory, and there's Donkey Kong working. I'm not going to play a game, I'm just demoing it for you guys. Okay, so, Daniel, if you're out there watching, this one was for you. Uh, let me know if there's anything I missed. Uh, send me a private message on Facebook, just in case if there's something I missed, I can just drop a link in the description to show you um, other different YouTubers that have this. But anyway. You guys, don't forget that I post videos every Wednesday, every Saturday, 8 a.m. California time. And you guys, do me a favor, be an amazing version of you, and have a wonderful, wonderful.